Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Well, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Yoast Power Electric Bike Conversion Kit. Now I've fitted this kit to a Doors Galaxy Touring Bike for a customer and this is the uh, finished product. What I'll be doing, I'll be doing a quick walk around, I'll just show you some of the components, tell you a little bit more about the kit. I've actually fitted probably 60 to 70 of these kits over the years. This one is the latest version and there's, there's certainly been some, some significant improvements in my opinion. And, um, and then I'll be taking it for a ride, I'll be doing a hill climb test, I'll tell you about the battery range and I'll tell you a little bit about the installation which is, is fairly straightforward. Okay. Right, so we're going to do a quick walk around. I'll tell you quickly about the donor bike. It's a Doors Galaxy AL. So it's not the um, it's not the traditional Doors Galaxy, which had a British Reynolds steel frame. This is one of the more modern versions. It's got fairly budget components fitted, but yeah, it, it's a it's a perfect donor bike. The kit was actually really easy to fit on this bike, no problems at all. Right, so let's let's have a look at the motor. Right, so this is the 250 watt version. As you can see it's nicely finished off now it looks to me like they fitted stronger spokes one of the complaints that a lot of people used to have with these kits was the spokes used to break quite easily so it looks like they've addressed this issue by fitting thicker spokes the motor itself seems to be a lot quieter and smoother than their previous motors so this one it is actually limited to 25 kilometers an hour in line with uk and eu pedelec laws I have tried to alter the speed on the display and you can't do it on this particular display. I did fit a 350 watt version a while ago and you could mess around with the speed limit on that one. But this one is obviously designed to be UK and EU legal. So the motor will only assist you up to 15 and a half miles an hour. But it's incredibly smooth. And another thing about it is it's really quiet. The Yoast Power Kits I was fitting a while ago did... They made quite a, they, they were quite whiny, you know, when you pulled away, they, they made quite an audible whine. This one is actually really smooth, really, really quiet. And also it seems to produce a lot of torque as well. I, mean, I just come up a steep hill a little while ago and it, it flew up there, no problem at all. So yeah, as the motor anyway. Now, obviously fitting the motor is fairly straightforward. I'll just, uh, you literally remove your old wheel and swap the tire, the rim tape. It's important you fit the rim tape and the tube over and reinstall and this this motor fitted straight into these dropouts it's 135 mil dropouts they do provide you with some spacers but yeah it, it was a very straightforward easy wheel to fit no problems at all in that department right we'll have a little look at the battery now this is their 36 volt 13 amp hour battery they do say they use premium cells they don't specify the cells used but i have installed a lot of these kits over the years and i've, I've never had any comeback off customers so the batteries tend to be quite reliable. Uh, as far as range is concerned, well, I've done I've done about 11, yeah, just just over 11 miles today so far, and it's it's just used one bar off the battery so far. So that's that's looking promising, and I've I've kept it in full power mode most of the way. Obviously, I have been riding above the cutoff limit for some of that time. Now, another good thing about this particular kit. They, they do two options. They do a conversion kit without a battery and they do a conversion kit with a battery. Now, the conversion kit with a battery actually has a controller installed in there. That's why we've got all these cables here. So you haven't got to worry about having a separate controller box, which you've then got to put in a bag and so on and so forth. So it makes for a much neater finish. So I'm sure you agree. It's actually quite a neat looking conversion. Right, we'll have a quick look at the display, which is up here. Right, so we've got five assist levels. I've kept it in level five. It does give you a nice boost to your pedaling, but it, it, like I said, it does cut out at 15 and a half miles an hour. That's your real-time battery voltage. We're on 38.2 volts at the moment. And that's your battery indicator. That's your trip. 
and obviously as your speedometer it does come set at kilometers an hour but it's quite easy to change it over two miles an hour and it's quite a neat looking display as well you know it's uh yeah, it's not bad at all now this bike did come with brake cutoff sensors so obviously because this bike has sti levers fitted i couldn't fit the sensors but you can get the inline sensors that fit on the brake cables basically they will supply those if you ask them i think you can get them from their uh, from their website so obviously we've got a couple of uh we've got the two these are the two brake cable connectors and this is a throttle connector obviously the throttle on this particular kit will be set to 6k's an hour so it's, it's it's not really worth fitting in my opinion uh as far as the brake cables are concerned the pedal assist works really well on this it, it kicks in as soon as you start pedaling and as soon as you stop pedaling the assist stop so i don't really see the need to fit the cutoff sensors but obviously it, it is a useful safety feature it's particularly if you're negotiating sort of tight bends and obstacles traveling at a slow speed but yeah that, that's it really it's um the kit costs anywhere between 350 to 395 pounds it's currently available on ebay i believe you can get it on amazon as well I think they sell it on AliExpress and they also sell it direct from their website. Prices vary across all platforms. Sometimes they have deals on, on their own website. Other times it's cheaper to buy it off eBay. I got this particular kit off eBay UK and I think delivery took about three days. It's obviously, obviously shipped from a, a UK warehouse. The kit comes with everything you need to convert your bike. So it comes with the wheel, with the motor in it. It comes with the battery with an integrated controller, pedal assist sensor, wiring harness, display, comes with a throttle, load of cable ties, it comes with a, a crank puller tool, because obviously you'll have to in, order to, in order to fit the pedal sensor, you'll have to remove your crank in order to fit that. Now, this is in, this is in good condition, this bike, it hasn't been left outside or anything, but on some bikes, you're gonna have problems getting the crank arm off particularly if it's on a bike that's been stood for a few years so uh, that's one thing to bear in mind and they also provide you with a chain tool as well a cassette tool and a chain whip to get your cassette off so really really good anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it for a quick spin i'm going to do a quick hill climb test see how it performs and then i'll uh, wrap it up right this is where the hill climb starts it climbs up through the village of clearbrook which is just on the edge of dartmoor it's a, a fairly long climb, it's not, not too bad, it's quite steep in places. Right, we're going to put it in level five. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's not having any problem with that at all. I'm going to put a little bit of effort in, but my heart rate's only at 82 BPM, so you know, usually I'll be up around 130, 140 coming up this climb. barely hear the motor it's just a gentle kind of hum which is really nice big improvement over the last motor there you go top of the hill just ahead Still on 6%. I'm 
speed hasn't dropped much below 15 mile an hour actually, it's absolutely flew up there. Really, really impressive. I mean, in all fairness, these Yost power motors have always been pretty good. This one's just a lot smoother and a lot quieter. Alright, that's it, we've done, we're done. Right, the um that motor made absolute mincemeat of that hill. It's not the biggest of climbs, but yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Just dropped another bar for battery. So of course, you know, you can go and buy a you can buy you can go and buy a new e-bike for Around about six or seven hundred pounds, you know, if you get a cheap one off Amazon or eBay. But if you've already got a decent bike in your shed, something that maybe just needs a little bit of TLC, or maybe it's a bike you've bought and you've hardly used it, I think getting one of these kits is a really good idea. You know, the cost comparison. So £400 for this kit versus buying a, a new e-bike for six or £700. Pounds. So, you know, if you go and buy a new e-bike for six or £700, pounds, it is going to have entry-level components. It's going to have mechanical disc brakes. It's going to have entry-level Shimano components. Probably going to have some unbranded components as well, usually really, really poor, poor quality suspension forks. Whereas if you've got a decent hybrid knocking about, or an old road bike like this, so there you have it, guys. The Yoast Power e-bike conversion kit. Like I said, I've installed about 60 to 70 of these over the years. I've had very few problems. I've had a few issues, broken spokes mainly, and uh, I've, had, I've had a couple of uh, electrical issues, but. Generally speaking, they're quite few and far between. The motors generally are quite reliable. Sometimes the pedal sensors will play up. But on the whole, I think the Yoast Power e-bike conversion kit is a really good buy. And I'd certainly have no trouble in recommending it. Obviously, if you're not confident about doing the job yourself, it should be easy enough to find somebody that can fit the kit for you. But any anyone with a, a, a basic knowledge of bicycle mechanics I mean all you've really got to be able to do is swap a wheel over this is this is going to be your main sticking point is getting a crank off but apart from that I would give the Yoast Power e-bike conversion kit the big thumbs up see you later guys